Tackle Junkies. What's going on, everyone? Really appreciate you guys and gals for clicking on the video. And you already know. You already know what's coming. <laughs> Picasso Lures Unboxing. I usually make one big order from Picasso every year, and it's really one of my favorite um, videos to make. I love their tackle, some of the best you can get. And that's really one reason, as a tackle channel, I like to use a lot of different things. Because you can't say something's the best if you haven't used a variety of different spinner baits, um, bladed jigs, whatever the case may be, buzz baits, whatever. You know, once you've used a lot of different things, you can start saying, oh, this one's my favorite, this one's the best, blah, blah, blah. And like I said, I haven't used everything, but by far, Picasso lures are hands down some of my favorites, some of the best that I've used. We'll just put it to you guys like that. Really looking forward to bringing this video to you guys. I know you guys love these videos. If you look through the videos, unboxing videos do really well on this channel. I know that's why a lot of you guys are here to see the unboxing videos, to see the new tackle coming out on the good camera there so we can get good um, close-up shots of the colors and all that. Like I said, I really do appreciate you guys continuing to come back to the channel. Just like my dude Bass Geek says, the best way to support the channel is just, just to watch the videos all the way through. So I truly appreciate the ones that uh, continually come back to the channel and watch the videos all the way through. You guys are awesome. Uh, I know I've been kind of slacking on the videos. Uh, to be honest with you guys, um, I, I couldn't even walk in this room um, the last week. That's why you haven't seen um, many videos. I did get my boat all washed, took advantage of a warm day here uh, just a few days ago, and for like six hours, scrubbed that boat, cleaned her up. She is ready to go for spring. Still got to do the inside, or I guess I should say my wife still has to do the inside. <laughs> I do have a video on that. If you guys want to know how to clean your carpet really well, we'll link that down below. But I'm sure just like always, we're probably a few minutes in already and we haven't even talked about any tackle. So let's go ahead and hop into it. But like I said, more videos are coming. We got some killer, killer unboxings coming after this one. And any of you guys that are new to the channel, yes, we do way more than unboxings on this channel. But it's winter time. I'm slammed with work. And this is what we're working with. So this is what we're doing. Okay, I can't wait to get back on the water and start shooting some video like I said, on the water. I'm kind of sick of being in this room already. Enough talking. Let's get into it. We have the knife of the day is the Spyderco Para 2. This was a this was a sprint run a while back, and now it's a production run. Uh, what do they call that? Micarta handle. Uh, this is the crew wear steel. This is the only PM2 that I have. Uh, to be honest, for a carry, it's, it's a bit big for my taste. So if I was only going to get one PM2, this is the one that I wanted. Had to wait a while for it to get back in stock. When it was in stock, I grabbed it, and I'm loving it. Like I said, only, I'm probably only going to get this one PM2. Like I said, I really do like the PM3, but smaller and all that. But if I'm going to get one, this is the one that I wanted. So enough of that. Start with the little one here. Where's the address? Where's the address? Where's the top? I don't even know. Don't even know. We'll go right here. Okay. Oh man, this is a juicy looking box. Juicy looking box. Um, I know there is quite a few of like certain items in here, especially what's right on top. Super excited about these. Um, let me go ahead and just organize a few things. You know what, we'll just, I'll show you one and then you'll just know there's multiple in here. But one thing here I'm really excited about, you guys know I'm not a huge finesse guy. But if I'm gonna finesse fish, I love tossing a shaky head. And Picasso came out with the shaky vibe. So you can see there, it's basically a shaky head, but it's got a blade on there. Okay, got a blade on there. So let's say um, you're stroking it off the bottom, or even if you're just kind of dragging it along the bottom, you'll get a little extra vibration from that blade. So pretty cool deal there, the shaky vibe. I know I got them in a few different sizes, I believe. Uh, we got a quarter, three sixteenths. I got them in green pumpkin and black. Um, like I said, we'll end up finding the rest of them. But yeah, that's a pretty cool um, new offering from Picasso, the Shaky Vibe. So really looking forward to playing around with those. We got some of the, just the standard, uh, this is the Shakedown, just the ball head, tungsten, shaky head there. 
Okay, that's really the main one that I use, and I also love the uh, the the Rhino head, the Aaron Martin's Rhino head. Get a nice shaky head there as well. We need to do a video on these ones. I really do love the, the Rhino head there. And again, I got them in multiple different sizes, green pumpkin and black. That's what I go with here. That's what all these are here. Just different sizes, ball heads, Rhino heads, different sizes. Uh, same thing here. More of the shaky vibe, shaky vibe. And I don't want to bore you showing you every single one. I think I got like a dozen packs of shaky vibes. They're all the uh, same there, just different. Like I said, different colors there, black, green pumpkin, and different uh, different weights. So, I think I got like a couple packs of each. I don't know, maybe more. It seems like they just keep coming out of the box. I don't know. Maybe we got a few more in there. I don't know. More of the ball heads. Shaky vibes. Oh, here we go. This is pretty cool. Uh, the Rhino Neds. Weedless Rhino Ned. For all you Ned heads out there, the Aaron Martins Rhino Ned Weedless. Weedless there, it's pretty cool. Again, we got some more of those in here. Some more of those in here. Rhino heads. Okay, here's a new offering from Picasso. I'm not, um, I haven't really done this technique yet. I don't fish a lot of deep water. I believe it's like a deep water technique. Uh, this is a speed drop, so I'm assuming this is guys doing like the the forward facing sonar. You know, again, I'm not into all that, um, but I was going to try these around some some deeper docks and things like that. But this is the the speed drop. I know I got them in a, a couple a couple different um, hook sizes, I believe. But I think one of them was on back order. But I got them in uh, just like a pearl white speed drop. And there's videos on these guys. Definitely check them out. But just for dropping down on them, Tucker Smith, he's the guy that uh, had a hand in these heads here. Tucker Smith, you guys can see the info there on the back. So looking forward to playing around with these. Again, not really my style of fishing, but we're going to gonna play around with them. This whole box really could have been just uh, jig heads. Here's some more ball heads. Again, eighth and a quarter, green pumpkin, the shakedowns, tungstens. Again, that's one of my go-tos right there. We got in here some more rhino neds a bit of paper these right here boys and girls these right here are really one of my favorites um, it's not an actual a lure this is a component this is basically what this is is the um the blades for the smart mouth plus jig heads which those two combined makes you a a um underspin you guys know i have a dedicated box in my boat to the Smart Mouth Plus heads and these blades. For me, this is like the spring killer. If I could only probably pick one bait for spring, I mean, it'd be tough not to pick a charter bait, right? But you can guarantee all spring, the underspin is going to be on my boat. On my boat, on the deck of my boat. Or if I'm going to the pond, that's really the ponds too, man. The, the underspin over there at the ponds is killer. But these are the blades. And like I so said, you can slide these on any jig head that you have. But I really like the Smart Mouth Plus. And I believe there's probably some in this package here. The Smart Mouth Plus. Uh, jig heads, normally a 2 out or 3 out hook in those. Um, a 3 16 quarter, sometimes 3 eighths. But if I had to pick a couple sizes, I use eighth and uh, eighth and a quarter, 3 out hook for the most part. 2 out, obviously, if I'm using a smaller soft plastic. But I'm telling you what, man, thread one of these blades on there and... Hold on, boys. Hold on. That's one of my favorites from Picasso. You guys should know that by now. I mean, I've been talking about that underspin for years. Got plenty of videos of catching tanks on that underspin. Okay. What do we got in here? That was a whole lot of uh, jig heads in the first box. I'm sure there's some spinner baits and buzz baits and chatter baits and all that in here. Some jigs. Oh yeah, man, this box is loaded. Would you look at that? That's that's what I'm talking about, boys and girls. A lot of tungsten in here as well. Um, what do we got here? These are, again, I got multiples of a lot of things in here, so we're just gonna kind of grab what we got here. Oh yeah, we got lots of these. 
you kind of see what I'm going to concentrate more on this year. We got like at least a dozen here. Let's pick a good color to show you guys. I mean, we got the black and blue. We got, what's this one called? Probably um, green pumpkin, amber, red. We got just some straight black. Uh, this one's PB and J bling. I mean, some awesome colors here. PB and J bling right there. Let's go ahead and take one out. You guys want to see these here. But uh, this is the flipping and pitching jig, the hog snatcher. Again, another Aaron Martin special here. I mean, just just a beautiful jig. Obviously, well designed. If uh, Aaron Martin's had a hand in it. PB and J bling there. Titanium weed guards. You can see it doesn't have a huge, huge hook in it, which I like. Very, very nice pitching and flipping jig. So we got a variety of colors. Three eighths and a half, like I said, black and blue, black. Um, what do we got here? A Bama brim. Um, yeah, basically this crawl type colors, black and blue, black PB and J. So, lots of those. Um, I got a lot of tungsten in here. Really, the only tungsten I got in here, you guys know I'm a, I'm a mustad guy. But the tungsten I got in here, and I'm sure it's all scattered through the box here. I do believe I had like one size on back order. But again, it's all basically the same here. We'll just go ahead and grab a um, two different sizes here. Or two different styles, I should say. And I believe I got uh, A316, quarter, three eighths, and half. It's depending on what I'm doing, but I got two different styles here. These are actually the Picasso Lures uh, Tungsten, the drop shot, the drop shot weights. But what you'll notice on these is they have a closed eye. Closed eye. So I picked these up for the free rig. Haven't tossed it yet. A lot of you guys have been asking me about it. Have I used it? I haven't, so I picked up a bunch of these weights. To do that, I got two different styles here. The cylinder style, again, just from the videos that I've watched on it, the cylinder style is great for like a straight drop. So if you're dropping, you know, straight on dock pilings, whatever the case may be, this one's going to go, you know, straight down for you, okay? And then if you're going to drag it, that's where this bell, this bell type here comes into play. Now, I'm sure you can use the same one for either, but of course, I wanted to try them both out just to see if, they're real, if it really does make a difference. And of course, I'll tell you guys that in the video. But like I said, I got a handful of sizes here. Got them all in black. And like I said, both styles. And we'll just see how they work out. But really excited to play around with the free rig. These are some more of the hog snatcher. Um, hog snatcher. Pitching and flipping jigs. Okay, what do we got here? It looks like another hog snatcher. Yep, pitching and flipping jig. Dock rockets. What are these here? More hog snatchers. More hog snatchers. More hog snatchers. Again, same colors that I already told you guys. They're just multiples of each. Okay, these here are pretty dang awesome. These are the dock rockets. Yeah, the Hank Cherry dock rocket. Take out one of my favorite colors here, which I'm sure you guys can see it pretty good through the package, but we're going to take one out just because I love this color. Fish in that muddy water. Black and blue is great, but a black and blue chartreuse is fantastic. Just a good uh, good skipping jig, that arky style type head. I mean, just the paint jobs alone are awesome. Matches the skirt. You know, you got that scale pattern, black and blue to black to chartreuse. I mean, Picasso does it up. Fantastic. Titanium weed guards there. Always have a nice plastic keeper on there, if you guys can see that. Nice plastic keeper on there. But these are the dock rockets. Great little skipping jig there. Okay. And again, I got them in the black, blue chartreuse. Uh, we got uh, white pearl. That PB and J bling, PB and J bling, really like that color there. PB and J bling, love this one too. I love this one in the, the swim jig. This is the um, Chartreuse Gizzard Shad. Chartreuse Gizzard Shad. That's one thing I'm going to say too, is when you look at these colors on Picasso, what you see is what you get. They're they're like dead on. 
So we're not going too in depth in colors here, but like I said, this looks exactly like it looks online. Any of the colors you grab from the, with this Tex-Mex, I believe, I mean, they all look identical online. So if you order one, what it looks like online, it's gonna look the same when you get it, so. So what else do we got here? Some more Doc Rockets, love this color as well. Dark Red Craw, Dark Red Craw. And you guys are really going to see an in-depth look at a lot of these colors and mates and all that when everything's all boxed up and I'm all organized. We're going to go through like each technique, rod and reel that I would use for everything, line and all that. So you guys will see exactly what I'm using for my pitching jigs and my skipping jigs and all that. So stay tuned for that down the road there. Green Pumpkin Amber Red. Doc Rockets. Uh, color I already showed you guys. Yeah, these are just... Doubles and triples here, Tex Max and the Pearl, and uh, what we got here. This is probably green pumpkin. Oh, this is um, watermelon camo chartreuse. Good looking natural color there. Good looking natural color. Got a lot of those. Doc Rocket, Doc Rocket. Again, same colors I already showed you guys. Doc Rocket, Doc Rocket, Doc Rocket. Like a song, Doc Rocket, Doc Rocket. Okay. Please don't unsubscribe because I'm a moron. Okay. Doc Rocket. All right, now we're getting into like the goods. Love jigs and all that, man. You guys know, man, I love me a buzz bait. I love me a chatter bait. Oh, little spotties. Really looking forward to playing around with these more. Um, I got the Kistler Chromium. You guys should remember that from a video a while back. And I got a reel I didn't show you guys, but I told you guys it was the Daiwa Steez 70 SV. And I plan to use that combo for these. Um, basically, it's, it's like a little finesse jig. It's called the Little Spotty Tungsten Head. Let's grab a good color that we're going to take out here. Oh, these all just look fantastic. Again, a bunch of different... Um, bunch of different uh, sizes and colors and all that. Let's just go ahead and take out a, uh, that's a good looking color there too. Let's take this one out. This is a um, little spotty green pumpkin orange tiger. Look how they package everything too. Super nice. Got a piece of foam in there so things ain't all, you know, jumping around and all that. I mean, Picasso, Picasso does it right. And you guys have asked so many times about a discount code I've tried. Can't get you one. You're better off just like getting um, or going to Tackle Warehouse, and when they have them a uh, sale there, buying them there, or I know Tackle Inc. does carry some Picasso stuff as well. And TJD1 works over there for like, I think it's 10% off, so you can save a few bucks there. But this is the Tungsten. Where is it at here? What did I do with it? Yeah, the Little Spotty. This was the uh, half ounce uh, Green Pumpkin Orange Tiger. Just a little ball head. I mean, just, I love it. I do love it. Now, something I want to mention, too. This, you can see here, this has two wires. I do believe I read some may have three wires. I think they added a wire. If you don't want that third wire, just, just cut it out. This one here does have the two wires, though. I mean, love this little jig. Like I said, I really want to concentrate more on, like I said, um, skipping docks. Pitching jigs, the little spotties. I'm not a huge jig guy, but around the docks and all that, I do want to play a bit more with. Um, I'm not a, a big dragger in open water on the lakes that I fish because they're just a mud bottom. It just stirs up the bottom. So I kind of like to stay off the bottom, but around the docks, I really do want to play around with this. <coughs> Excuse me, a bit more. Okay, what do we have here? Um, you know what? We, let's go into some more of the colors we got. Okay, this is the. Um, Hologram Shad, so good looking Shad color there. Of course, the, the black and blue, gotta have black and blue fish in the muddier water there. Black and blue. Uh, we got um, that PBJ Bling, love that PBJ Bling there. PBJ Bling. Um, do we have any more in here? No, those are different. Um, some more Doc Rockets here, colors I've already showed you guys. There's a bunch more little spotties. Let's see here. Green Pumpkin Amber. 
green pumpkin amber there. Love that one there. And you can see here, I'll go ahead and show you guys. Here's another green pumpkin amber here. And you can see on this particular one, I believe, yeah, it's got the three, it's got the three weed guards on there. If you guys can see that, the three tips there. So again, if you only want the two, just cut out the center one. But for whatever reason, they're adding the third. So anyways, I believe the other colors you've already seen, that's the TB and J, green pumpkin amber, green pumpkin. You've seen those. Okay. Oh man, this stuff looks juicy. Okay, here we go. I got some of these last year. Only tossed them a couple times. But a buddy of mine, um, been going to Kincaid. Each time he goes, he dang near always catches a muskie. I haven't caught one yet. And I think the last time we went was maybe October. Could have been October. And I, th I think he caught one or two, and then his buddy caught one, and me and Big Mike didn't catch any muskie. Heck, I barely caught any fish. But I wanted to get some of these, some more of these um, inline spinners. I do believe here's a couple more here. I wanted to get them in half ounce. Okay. You guys probably seen these last year. I got them in three eighths, but here's an inline spinner. Let me go ahead and just take one out here. Got so many lures on the table. Okay, inline spinner there. Inline spinner. I mean, gosh, they make awesome, awesome lures. Inline spinner. Okay, I think they're called the All Terrain. Get the name right here. All terrain inline. Okay. Again, this one here obviously is the pearl. I got a black and blue on here. These again are all in half. And uh, we got um, again another pearl here. Um, this one is glimmer nickel blade, blue glimmer. Um, white with a nickel, or no, that's a white with a white. White with a, yeah, I think that is, is it? You know what, let's take this one out. This looks like it could be like a, might be, oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. So this one here is, this one here is nickel on one side and white on the other. I just see a lot of musky lures look like this. You know, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get some of these in half and I'm gonna go out there and try and get me a musky with these things. This color here, cool color. This one is Red uh, Royal Red Craw. Royal Red Craw. Gold Blade. That'd be good for the muddier water there. We got... Um, those are a Dock Rocket. One of my favorite colors. Um, this is the... Uh, what do they call it? Now they're just calling it Purple Black. I think this used to be called Purple Phantom. But yeah, it's kind of like just a purple... Purple there, and then of course we got ourselves a chartreuse and white, gold. Okay, some more tunks and spotties here. Uh, colors I already showed you guys in the hologram shad, just different sizes there. Hologram shad, another little spotty there. Oh, here we go. We were talking about the smart mouth plus jig heads. Uh, here is, looks like I got an A3 out hook. That's the jig head right there. I'm going to take one out. I just use, mainly you just use the shad color or just a chartreuse and white. That's an A3 out hook there. Smart mouth plus. And like I said, you just take the blade. I think I buried them. Here we are. I thought I buried them under this entire this huge pile here. But you just take the blade. See the hole there. In the harness there, slide it over the hook, and you got yourself an underspin. So, pretty, pretty cool deal there. Really do like those. You know, more like breaking off the metal arms and all that. Those things are awesome. What do we got here? Uh, some skirts. And they got, and two guys, you guys heard me say that before. They got some of the best skirts in the game. Okay, what do we got here? These are. Um, Oh, these are the, um, these are, yeah, Straight Shooter Pro. Some awesome swim jigs. 
Straight Shooter Pro. Looks like here we got two and three eighths. And the color is, here's one and a half, Alabama Craw. Straight Shooter Pro. Love this swim jig. Oh yeah, I mean, it's nothing but quality, boys and girls. Straight Shooter Pro. Straight Shooter Pro. Gotta make sure I cover up my eyes or it won't focus on the jig. It'll focus on me. Beautiful color, though. Beautiful color. Okay. We got uh, here's a spinner bait. I remember ordered some of these last year with color blades for spring. I think this one's called. It could be called. Um, I think it's called Big Sexy. It's got a blue, blue and chartreuse blade. Now my favorite spinner bait from them is the is the Invisiwire. Like you'll see this one here. It doesn't have a closed eye. My favorite is the closed eye. Okay, it's got a closed eye here and the wire diameter. I believe this is uh, maybe a 35. My favorite's 0 .028, so it's a lighter wire. But with that lighter wire, you get a lot of vibration. And I like a double willow. You guys know that for the most part. I don't believe these are offered in double willow or I'd have a double willow. But um, I like a double willow. And with a double willow, you get more flash, but you don't get as much vibration as you do with a Colorado. But with that lighter wire, that 0 .028, I feel it kind of makes up for it. So you kind of got the best of both worlds with that uh, wire diameter, the 0 .028. You get the flash from the willow blades, but you get a lot of vibration from that from that lighter wire. So if you're not running Colorado, so you can still get some good vibration from that particular spinnerbait running willow. So again, I'm a huge fan of willows, but uh, here is the, again, I think it's called Big Sexy Blue Chartreuse Blade. Gonna be a spring killer. Cool. Okay, what else we got in here? Another inline, what you guys seen? Uh, straight Shooter Pro, what you guys seen? Straight Shooter Pro, Straight Shooter Pro. Oh man, we're getting to the juice, boys. We're getting to the juice. These here, I believe, are the Rusty Squeakers. Rusty Squeakers, again, I don't know the, the, the these will come differently for you. Um, with the name on the package and all that. I believe it's just like, um, I don't want to say without knowing, some sort of shad color, probably Tennessee shad maybe, with a gold blade, and that just looks absolutely beautiful. Um, I normally, um, oh, that's just perfect. That's the rusty squeaker there. You can see the rivet is already pre-rusted for you. Good squeak right out of the package there. Now, I was running these for a long time, and then they came out with the, oh, what are they called? Um, the Toad Slayer. I think the Toad Slayer, it could be just a bit smaller. Maybe, but looking at this one, maybe they could be the similar size. But with the Toad Slayer, the plastic is meant to go over the head. Okay, so these here, I mean, I, I run plastics on these too. I take off the skirt, run a plastic. A lot of benefits to running a soft plastic. For one, they cast better, they plane faster, and it gives the bass something to grab onto, kind of hold on to. So I, I prefer a plastic over a skirt. Of course, like I said, you can take the skirt off and run a plastic, but if you're going to run plastics, you're better off just getting the, the Toad Slayer because it, it's made uh, to where the plastic goes over the head. So the head's not going to catch grass and things like that. So. Definitely check out the Toad Slayer there. But like I said, if you're going to run a skirt or even a plastic, if you're not sure, go with the Rusty Squeaker here. Again, one of my favorites. i got videos on it. I can link it down below. Love this buzz bait. This one here, I mean, it's kind of tied with the Toad Slayer. I love them both. But if I could pick one, I don't know. <laughs> I like them both. But Rusty Squeaker, again, one of my favorites. So is Toad Slayer. Just, just get them both. <laughs> just get them both. Okay. Think we got here's how yours will come here in these packages here these are just black on black again the rusty squeaker though you can see the rivet picture they're already rusted for you three eighths is, is really the main size i throw i don't believe i have any half three eighths is what i throw 
but uh, yeah, both here, three eighths, black on black, black on black. These are cool now. Now I'll definitely keep the skirt on for these. I just love this color here. I believe it's called Tequila, yeah, Tequila Sunset Purple Blade. So these here, I'll definitely leave the, um, we'll leave the, the skirts on. Let's take one of these out. It's a, it looks like it's uh, zip tied in there. Just a beautiful, beautiful buzz bait here. Purple Blade. Tequila Sunset, so you got the purple, the black, the pink, I mean, just, just a killer looking buzz bait there. I mean, when you grab a Picasso lure, it's like you instantly gain confidence in it. I mean, it just, it looks like it's going to catch fish, you know. Man, I, I love those buzz baits. Okay, what else we got here? You guys seen all those, seen those. All right, now we got some bladed jigs. Bladed jigs here. You'll see there's kind of a theme here. I do believe all of these, I think all of these could be, uh, could be the, like the red craw type color. Let me see what we got here. And I got a video on these. I'll link them down below. I think another, I have, I have another video too on how I organize all my bladed jigs, but I do have a video because there's a lot of different offerings from Picasso as far as bladed jigs go. I'll link that video down below as well. Uh, just so you guys can understand the different blade styles and blade material, which you're kind of going to gain from that. Like this one here is the, this is the Shock Blade Pro Carbon Fiber Series. I think, and all these are, what do they call it? They call it Inferno. Okay. Again, just definitely check out that video. Uh, these here are half ounce. Okay. Inferno Carbon Fiber Series. Okay. See here, Shockway Pro Pros. This is the dredger. Okay, let's take one of these out so you guys can see. This is the dredger here. Dredger Blade Pro Carbon Fiber Series. Again, you're just gonna get a different noise with that carbon fiber, but this particular blade style is gonna give you a bit more thump compared to the last one. The other ones that's a real fast, a real fast movement. This one here is a bit wider. Go ahead and take the other one out so you guys can see the difference there. More of a speed blade, and you'll get a little bit more thump out of that dredger blade there. Man, you gotta love that color though. Inferno. I mean, I mean they did they just killed it with that color. There's a lot of red crawl type colors out there. This one here, man, is it's pretty fire. Pretty fire. Well, guys, I should wrap it up. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. You can see a lot of awesome different offerings from Picasso. You can get them direct from Picasso, um, Tackle Warehouse. Like I said, Tackle Link does carry some Picasso stuff as well. i got a code over there. But like I said, I normally go straight through Picasso for my orders. Definitely check them out. Link down below. Check out those videos as well. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If you're still here, let me know down below. I don't know how long this video is. I'm sure it's too long. But if you're still here, give me a... Give me a fist bump. Just tell me you're here. I truly appreciate the one. I appreciate all you guys, obviously, but I truly appreciate the ones that are watching the entire video. It truly does help out the channel. You guys are awesome. Love you guys. And we will see you guys on the next unboxing. Hey, smash thumbs up too. We're out. People like to clap. I like to go, mm, I'm, I'm knock it out. Okay. What's that address? Why can't knock me out?